and Blair, our superintendent and his crew have done a great job of clearing out some paths. One, to make the game easier. Two, a little bit friendlier, pace of play, all those fun things. You know, obviously I'm really pleased with this position here. Uh, just keep in mind that, you know, just the way this kind of worked out, it, it, it looks like Lori and I have played it exactly the way we wanted to. It's a difficult hole. We, we got away with some really good shots on this one, but that's not always the case. So remember that this area is for a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a bailout, uh, which is okay. For me personally, I'm looking for the middle of the green here. If I can get it all the way back, great. But if I'm in the middle, I'm definitely happy with that. So we've made it to the green. Uh, Lori's is a lot closer than mine. And I, I still have a lot of work to do here. I've got, and you know, a good 45 feet, and it's going to break probably two or three. So even though I've hit a good tee shot and I've hit a good approach shot, I can still, if I'm not careful, walk away with a bogey. And that's why this is the hardest hole in the golf course. We've done all the work we can to this point. What I'm going to do is make sure that a I play enough breaks so that it, when it starts to lose speed, it's going to start breaking towards the hole. But I'm also going to make sure that I get there because. More often than not, we see everybody come up six, seven, eight feet short because it's deceptively uphill. <laughs> we could do that a lot of times and that would never happen. So on the record. So, okay, two birdies on the toughest hole at Mill River. <laughs> wow. Love it. All right, so we're on the 14th tee. We just finished playing the 13th. One thing to note about this area right now, as you can see now, we don't have a lot of trees. And once upon a time, we had a lot of trees in here. How this has affected the golf course is that when you're hitting your third shot into 13, you have to be very mindful of where the wind's coming from because what happens is, and we've talked about this when we're on the fourth, you can get in, into a shoot where the wind isn't touching the ball very much, but when it comes out of it, i.e. through this little area right here, it has a big influence on your third shot. So you got to watch the wind uh, as you're coming into the uh, the 13th. Now, uh, a little a little tip is, you know, obviously we throw some blades of grass in the air, but look at the tops of the trees. That'll give you your best indication as to where the wind's going because it can push your ball uh, into the water from there. I've already seen it happen this year. So when you're playing your third, just be careful. The higher you put it into the air, the more the wind's going to influence it. Here we have the 14th hole and another challenging hole because if you look over my left shoulder, you're going to see that we're downhill to a pond and then uphill to the green. If the wind is in the right direction and today it's into our face, so definitely not going to be thinking about hitting it over the pond. And the way the sl fairway. fairway slopes uh, on the other side of the pond, it's a downhill again towards the water. So the strategy here for me is to lay up, uh, hit a layup, probably 180 shot will get me to the bottom of the flat and then I probably have another 150 back up into the green. Okay, so now we're on the on the gold deck. Uh, as you can see now, we have water at the very bottom. Lori explained how she would lay up before the water and then go back up the hill. Um, again, depending on what the wind's doing, I might uh, try to go over the water and it would leave me a, a wedge uh, at the very, very most. However, uh, you do have to weigh the risk uh, versus the reward on that. With today's wind, I'd probably give it a go and, and hit it is fairly wide up there and the other thing is is that you're going to want to look and see where that pin is located as well so if the pins at the back i would probably want to uh, get myself farther down the fairway the last thing you want to do on this hole is hit to the bottom before the water and then have 190 yards up the hill to a back pin so today i'm going to hit driver try to take a little bit of the trouble out of play and hopefully have a wedge into the green